Hey, it's Yash, and in this video, we're going to cover how you can import data from your CRM into Clay. Let's dive straight in. As we've done in a couple of previous lessons, we're going to open up the sources modal from the actions modal in the top right corner. In this modal, you'll notice things are divided by different signals importing from find people or companies and custom modals. Now, from CRMs, you may want to import from Close, HubSpot, Salesforce, you name it, you have your choice. However, a few quick notes on CRM imports. With Salesforce in particular, you can import records from a Salesforce list or from a Salesforce report. If you import from a Salesforce report, you are going to be capped at 2,000 records per report. It's not something Clay can control, it's just a limitation imposed by the Salesforce API. So even though most people aren't used to doing it, you are better off trying to import records from actual lists in Salesforce instead of reports. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and use HubSpot as an example. First, we're gonna to need to make sure we create the list we need from HubSpot to pull into Clay. If, for example, I wanna pull in a list of all of our paid customers in Clay from HubSpot over to Clay, I'm gonna head over to HubSpot, head over to my lists category, find my paid workspaces list, and then make sure that the filters on are absolutely correct. In this case, we've got amount being known for any new customers, which leads to a list of about 6,487 contacts. Now, this might not be the most fully accurate list because we've got some CRM cleaning data to do, but it serves as a purpose for importing CRM values right here. So, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take this list, paid workspaces v2, and pull it back over from Clay by hitting this import contacts from HubSpot button. I'm gonna choose the right account to authenticate into, and then type for my paid workspaces v2 list. Now note here, I can include read-only properties if I wanted to, and I can also exclude empty properties. This is particularly helpful if you have a huge CRM with lots of different data points that might clog up your clay table unnecessarily. For now, we'll keep both of these off and go ahead and just submit and create this list. As HubSpot pulls this list directly into your clay table, you'll notice a couple of other additional things. Once we've got all of our records from HubSpot CRM, you'll notice we just have them in one column right here. We can extract any of the data points we want by just clicking on individual cells. For example, if I wanted to pull everyone's emails here, I could do so by clicking into the cell, finding email, and then pulling all these emails out into a separate column. I could do the same thing for company names, first names, last names, anything that I've actually got as a proper data value on these records. That's a quick overview of how to import lists from your CRM into Clay. Happy importing. Next up, integrating Clay with Google Sheets.